Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have an unboxing for you today. These are the core products for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and as you know she gives us some, she chooses the core products and then we get to choose our own products for the month that we would like to work with. So my first one was this gorgeous Nouveau paste. I absolutely love that silver texture paste and I am so excited to work with it. Not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm sure I will come up with something. Then there's these gorgeous Kaisercraft die cuts that I also picked as part of my products. And yep, lots there to choose from. Let's see what comes out of these ones. And uh, what else did I pick? Oh yes, I should also mention that if you are interested in any of these products you can head on to Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft website which I would link in the comments below and all these products will be at a reduced price so hop on to her website I promise you you will not be disappointed she's got some great products at some great prices so as you saw I picked some stamps from Kaiser Craft as well they were the Wondery Ivy ones and then this gorgeous die cut which I loved for the branch. Forget the birdies because you know me, I don't like birdies and don't judge me for it. Some people don't like cats, I don't like birds. And then the the core products, the actual core products are all papers and they are from the Orphan Tea range and they're winter themed. And this one these ones here are actually die cuts, they're perforated on both sides, so you just you just choose which side you want to use and I absolutely love the die cuts like this. You can actually see them. You don't have to fumble through a little packet. They're all there. So as you, um, I found it easy to work with as I was working on my layout because you can see the die cuts are right there and you just um, cut them or you don't really cut them out because they're perforated. So you just um, push them out, I guess is what is the word that I'm looking for. And these are all the core products. They're gorgeous, gorgeous papers, as I mentioned earlier, from Orphan. Sorry, my video recording cut out there. The papers are from Authentique. I'm having a few technical issues today with doing the voiceovers for the for my videos. It's all everything's playing up. It's one of those days. But love the papers. Move along and look at this one. This is the second lot of papers. We actually got two of each um, paper so that that way we had side A and side B, which is absolutely wonderful of Vera to do that because. I do love having both sides so that way I don't really have to make a choice and hoard my papers because I don't want to use either one. And I'm in love with this this um, this set here because of the colours and there's so much you could do with their paper and especially where I live. I live in a um, rural area of New South Wales and we do have foxes running around, especially at night you see them when they want to come out and get people's chickens. Um, we do have deers, wild deers that come out and unfortunately sometimes people speed around here and they do hit our wonderful deers and kangaroos and the wallabies that are around and it's such a shame because if people just slowed down because these wild animals they do come out at dusk and in the evenings and at night so really no speeding please if you're in a rural area because you don't know what's just going to jump out of the bushes oh well that's a big spill isn't it and look at these papers oh if you're into project life you've got some beautiful beautiful cards there i personally don't do project life it's um i'm a traditional 12 by 12 scrapper as you would probably know if you've been following me for a while but you know I'm sure I will find something to do or make with those die cuts because they're absolutely gorgeous. They might even make some gorgeous, um, some great titles for my layout. Who knows? I've got no idea what I'm doing yet. But uh, Vera really did outdo herself with the chosen products. And if you do get a chance, please go onto her website, check it out. She is an amazing person. If there's something that you're looking for and you're not quite sure what it is, just send her, send her a message. She will help you out. I, I promise you that. She's such a wonderful, caring person. You will get service with a smile. And some beautiful snowflake papers. I'm not really sure uh, with some of these winter ones or the snowflake ones what I'm going to 
how I'm going to use them. We don't really get snow where I am. It does get cold. We are in winter here in Australia and where I am, we are closer to the mountains. So it can get cold, but it doesn't really snow here. Uh, a normal day for us is about, and when I say cold, for us, 10 degrees is cold. Or for me, 10 degrees is freezing. But um, I know for some people, that's mild. But yes, we are, we are blessed that even though it's cold, we are... I couldn't handle it if I was in, say, Canada, where it um, goes into the negatives. I would, gosh, I think this is cold now. 10 degrees is cold for me. I don't know how I would handle negative temperatures, but I guess we acclimatise to wherever we're living. And, oh, this paper. If you know me, I'm not a bird fan. I actually don't like birds at all. Uh, please don't judge me for that. Uh, you know, some people don't like cats. Some people don't like bird, uh, birds. I don't like birds. Some people don't like dogs. Well, I I can't warm to birds. I don't like them. And unfortunately, where we live, there's quite a lot of them too. So I can't I can't exactly escape them. But yeah, birds and and me, we don't really gel together. But anyway, that is it for the month of July. I'm looking forward to playing with all these products and I hope you like what I make with them all. See you later. Bye.